Hello, I'm Nancy Cordes in Washington. Welcome to America Decides. Former President Donald Trump is still holding a press conference at his golf club in New Jersey right now. This is his second time speaking to reporters in a week. He said Vice President Harris's economic policies are causing a catastrophe. He's expected to take questions from reporters soon. He's been speaking for about 20 minutes, uh, but has not started taking questions yet. Instead, he has been using this time to deliver what he billed as economic remarks, but really he's been using that framework of the economy to make a series of untrue claims about his opponent, Kamala Harris. For instance, he said that she wants to turn America into a communist country. He said she wants to get rid of private health care, and he said she wants to abolish coal, oil, and natural gas. None of that is true. He has also uh, been making a series of, of over-the-top claims, including uh, that Kamala Harris broke the economy, broke the world, destroys everything she touches, and that there will be a 1929-style crash if she is Elected. So that gives you a little bit of a flavor of what we've been listening to so far. Let's now take a listen to see what he's talking about now. Had no way of getting them back. And I said, I want to get all of the MS-13 in particular out of our country, bring them back to where they came from. A general said, sir, that won't be possible. Why? Because they blocked the airports, they blocked the roads, they blocked everything. You can't do it. I said, so they're making a concerted effort. Yes, sir, they're making a concerted effort. We can't do it. They put planes on the runway so we can't land the plane, sir. And the same thing with the roads. They block up the roads. So if we have buses coming in, they block up the roads. They're totally blocked and they're terrible. It's been that way for years, sir, all the way back to Bush. It's been that way for years. And I said, well, how much do we pay them in terms of economic development and aid Sir, we pay them $750 million. I said, that's okay. Call them immediately and tell them we're not paying them anymore. And the following morning, I got a call from the three main culprits. Sir, I'd like to speak to you because I don't understand what the problem is. I said, well, you've sent us gang members, and they send them. Remember that. They send them. They said, we sent, uh, you send us gang members, you send us killers, and you send us drug dealers, and you send us horrible people, and when we want to bring them back to your country, you won't accept them. And that's under President Obama and all the way through. And therefore, you're in default. You are uh, in total default of the money that we send you. And we're not going to send you the money anymore. You're not getting any of the $750 million and more. We're not giving you so you've been listening to former President Donald Trump at his golf club in Bedminster, New Jersey, talking there about immigration. Uh, we'll go back to him if and when he starts taking questions. But for now, I want to bring in our CBS News political director, Finn Gomez. Finn, thanks so much for being here. Uh, tell me a little bit about the strategy of having the former president hold two news conferences in a week, uh, neither in a battleground state, uh, not on the campaign trail, but first at his home in Florida, Mar-a-Lago, and now at his golf club in Bedminster. What is the goal with these press conferences? I'm being told that this is an attempt 